So. Hello, my name. First of all, hello, my name is Kevin Flynn. This here is the first time I'm doing this. I know there's many lures from My Name is Spife and many others on YouTube and Destiny. But I was told something very interesting that I figure I want to talk about. It is as I put in the title, The Legendary Raider. The reason why I got no time to explain is it goes along with the story. It is a sad and fateful one, I will tell you. I was told by a friend that this gun, No Time to Explain, was originally called The Fate of All Fools, back before this game even came out. That interests me because I had the app Destiny Weapon Exotics and I came across it. Fate of All Fools Exotic Scout Rifle. And then I took a look at the year 2 plus Exotic Blue Exotic Weapons. No time to explain. The same gun. How is this possible, you say? Well, the fact of the matter is that the gun actually belonged to an original person. It belonged to... It belonged to a 10 year old child that had cancer. He is no longer among the living. I wish I would have known his name because this gun, this no time to explain, was originally the exotic scout rifle Fate of all fools. The reason why this gun says a single word is etched onto the inside of this weapon's casting soon means this gun, like I said, belonged to a 10 year old child who's no longer with us. He died of cancer, and I'm sorry to hear that. But, he was in therapy. Bungie gave him this game, this game, and this gun that they custom made specifically for him. Because he had, was using this game for therapy. He is known as the Legendary Raider, from what a friend of mine told me. That he was so good, and so good in fact, that he, the 10 year old kid that is, the kid himself, with this gun, when it was a scout rifle, took on two of the game's raids solo. And that is the Vault of Glass. and Crota's end. He himself was the only one to complete both raids solo. Solo. Which we know for a fact that solo raids can be do can be done by yourself. You can solo Crota or you can three to four man it. But 
all of us to know that Vault of Glass requires at least five to six people. Especially going up against Atheon. But this ten year old kid, this cancer child, ten year old kid, very first one to go into the raid before they even came out with just this gun. It was a scout rifle. He is so legendary, in fact, in fact that most people don't know, except for those that do, like me and a friend of mine. This gun was originally his. He was so good. His KDs were in Vault of Glass. 10,000, I kid you not, 10,000 kills. Three deaths in Vault of Glass. And in Crota's End. 3,000 kills. Five deaths. He soloed both of them. Both of them. With just this weapon. With just this weapon. He loved the game so much that he asked Bungie to remake this gun so it could be given to everybody. Everybody. They asked him why. The child just smiled and looked at him and said I have no time to explain why. He just smiled. He knew that his death was coming soon. Yeah, take a moment to realize that. The child himself came up with the name. And Budgie went with it. Child said, I have no time to explain why. I just do, and my death is about to come soon. The gun was called Fate of All Fools. I don't know why it was. He had a reason like that. All I know is that's how the gun got his name. And a little bit more about him. It's sad, yes, it's very sad. This child was so good, so very good. He was ranked in the top 400 in PvP. In PvP matches, he was the top ranked 400. Because his kill death, because his KD was that good. That good. That when he passed, he asked Bungie, as a dying request, to remake the Fate of All Fools exotic scout rifle into the no time to explain exotic pulse rifle for everybody to play with. And he passed, smiling, enjoying the game, enjoying the game he loved. Bungie's Bungie filled his request and made the no time to explain weapon as a daily as a daily quest item for the daily exot for the daily heroic Paradox. 
daily heroic paradox quest. It's the only way you can get the no time to explain quest line. But you must be a fool. You must be a fool to do so. It will cost you a great fate. I have gotten, I have done the quest. I have gotten my no time to explain gun with help from a fire team. If you try to do it on your own, may luck shine upon the fool of ill fate. But that is all I have to say of the legendary raider and the fate of all fools. Or should I say the no time to explain exotic pulse rifle. It is a lore that is ancient. And my friend who told me this information of how the gun got its name and why it was not why it's in the data storage of exotic primaries in year one but was not released to the public but in year two plus it was released in Taken King this gun was specifically created for a cancer child patient only after his passing they remade it from a scout rifle to a pulse rifle for everybody else because they granted his ch request to recreate the gun and to give it to everybody else as a quest item so there you have it ladies and gentlemen of destiny the legendary lore of the legendary raider and his gun do not expect any more videos from me because this here is only something emotional that I figure I should tell others who may or may not know but if you do get this gun if you do get the no time to explain you have a choice to either use it or not because of what I told you is heartwarming so basically if you use this gun you wield this gun you wield a dead player's favorite weapon you wield the legendary raider's weapon how you use it is up to you you can either use it or not the choice is yours would you rather keep it in your vault and not use it because of what you were told or would you use it in the raids The choice is yours. This here it is again is Kevin Flynn or I go by my PlayStation name KF-9210 or an old gamer or a gamer tag Largo Sensei. May the light of the guardian protect you fellow guardians of destiny. And again if you get this weapon you have the legendary Raiders so honor honor and valor how you use it it's up to you again mine if you find if you want to add me my gamer tag my gamer tag is right in the name kf-9210 
I hope I get to play alongside you, fellow guardians. Someday. Again, my name is KF-9210. Largo Sensei. Or just Kevin. However you want to call me, it's up to you. I don't mind. May the light of the guardian, or should I say, may the light of the traveler, protect you, guardian. Farewell. <laughs>